السلام علیکم 1 پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سیدہ رزوی فرسٹ ہیڈ لائنس یورپین یونین ہیز لوڈیڈ کنٹینیوٹی آف دا ڈیموکریٹک پروسیس ان پاکستان All parties Hurriyat Conference AJK chapter has pledged that Indian forces cannot suppress the indigenous movement of Kashmiri people by its oppression. <music> human rights activist late Asma Jahangir has been given United Nations Human Rights Award 2018. In Jordan, 80, at least 18 people have been killed when torrential rain swept away a bus carrying students and teachers touring near the Dead Sea. The European Union Chief Election Observer Michael Galler called on Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad today. The two sides discussed successful conclusion of general elections and peaceful transfer of power to democratically elected government for a third consecutive time. Foreign Minister highlighted that Pakistan has been welcoming international election observers since 2002 and EU observers were deployed across the country in general elections of 2002, 2008, 2013 and 2008. 18. European Union Chief Election Observer recognized continuity of the democratic process which was essential for creating and enabling environment for peace, stability and development in the country. He also handed over a copy of the final report of EU EOM on general elections 2018. All parties who read conference AJK chapter has emphatically stated that no amount of oppression by Indian forces can suppress the indigenous movement of Kashmiri people for their right to self-determination. The leaders of APHC AJK chapter made the comments in an exclusive talk with our correspondent Zahid Hamid today. Altafa Sanwani of Jammu and Kashmir National Front said that the Kashmiri people are observing the Black Day tomorrow to remind the world community and the UN of its commitment towards the resolution of Kashmir dispute. He said Pakistan has always supported the right of self-determination of Kashmiri people at the world forums and pursued the path of dialogue, but India is not ready to shun its antagonist approach. Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control and the world all over observe Black Day tomorrow to mark the illegal occupation of Jammu and Kashmir by India on 27th October 1947. It was on this day when Indian troops invaded Jammu and Kashmir and occupied it in total violation of partition plan of the subcontinent and against the Kashmiris' aspirations. The day is marked every year to express support and solidarity with Kashmiri people in their just struggle for right to self-determination and remind the United Nations nations and the international community of its commitment regarding the resolution of this long-lasting dispute. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two more youth in Baramulla district today. Pakistan has called on the UN Secretary Council to address the root causes of protected Kashmir and Palestine conflicts where women suffer disproportionately from the violence perpetrated by foreign occupation. Speaking at the annual high-level debate for the 15-member Council on Women, Peace and Security, Pakistan's permanent member of the Assembly, Ambassador Maliha Lodi, said women suffer disproportionately from the violence perpetrated by foreign occupation in these regions. The Pakistani envoy urged international community to ensure equal attention to all the four pillars of the women, peace and security agenda for promoting and safeguarding the interests of women in conflict situations. Earlier opening the debate, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he will continue to push for greater and more meaningful participation of women in mediation efforts, as well as for a gendered approach to peace and security. Human rights activist late Asma Jahangir has won United Nations Human Rights Award 2018. She was awarded Posthumously served as the UN Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Executions from 1998 to 2004 and as the UN Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Region, Religion and Belief from 2004 to 2010. Human rights watchdog Amnesty International has criticized India over the raid at its office by Financial Crime Investigation Agency. Amnesty termed the raid as part of the government's attempt at silencing its critics. In Jordan, at least 18 people, including children, have been killed when torrential rains swept away a bus carrying students and teachers touring near the Dead Sea. 
In China, at least 14 children have been injured in an attack at kindergarten. According to details, a woman carrying a knife entered the school and attacked on children when they were playing in the ground. The woman was arrested at the scene. The second T20 cricket match between Pakistan and Australia is being played in Dubai today. The match will start at 2100 hours Pakistan standard time. The match lead Pakistan will lead the matches three series one. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.